This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Porter versus Porter. You all have been together for five years, you've been married for four, and you all met at church. Yes. Uh, uh, Miss Porter, you brought this case because you believe your husband is cheating on you. Yes. Okay, explain that, please. I'm here because I'm married to this man, and I love him. I took him, I took vows with this man almost four years ago, and it hurts. So I need to know, is he still cheating on me? What does that feel like? It hurts, it tears me up. Sometimes I can't sleep because I don't know what he's doing. Tell him how you're feeling. I love you. I gave you all of me. You did things to me that hurts me. So I just need to know, are you still doing these things to me? Okay, Mr. Porter. Yeah, I mean, I see a smile on your face which is completely inconsistent with your wife over here in tears. Why are you here today? I'm here to prove that I, I'm innocent of all the charges and all what she, accusations that she out there claiming. You believe that she's being paranoid? Yes. I'm not cheating. And when it come out, it is And like you just told is. me two days ago, I, if I'm, I'm a grown man and I'm gonna do what I want. If I want to have sex, That's I'll have one me. yet. I ain't gonna do nothing yet. Miss Porter, you're nothing. hurting. Why you're here? is to bring this back to what it used to be. Am yeah. I right? Yeah. Was there a time when y'all were happy together? Um, our second Valentine's Day. And we had did our, we had spent Valentine's Day and I, I have health issues, so I was really hurting. And I asked him, I said, baby, my body hurt. He was like, well, I got you, just hold on. So then he's like, he hollered my name. So when I got to the bathroom, I had bubble bath with flowers, rose petals from the front of the door all the way to the tub. That's the Darius I want. Mr. Porter, do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Mr. Porter, did you ever love her? Yes. What was it about her that you loved? Everything about her. She went out on a limb for me. She did something that a female didn't never do before. She actually hit me when I told her that I was trying to, I was fit to leave her. So you told her you were trying to leave I was, her? I was fit to leave and, and she, she struck you. me, yeah. <laughs> So I actually you fell like in that? love. Yeah, I actually fell in love with that. All right, I... Because she was willing to fight for what she wanted. Don't love me like that. She was willing to fight for what she wanted. Don't love me like that. She was willing to fight for what she wanted. All right, and so that made you think, huh, something about her. Yeah. <laughs> it's something okay. about it, because everybody else the was like, The fact that she was willing to fight for you. Right. And wait, willing to fight him for him. Right. <laughs> Not just fight him, but fight him for him. I mean, this is the first time I've seen them smile at the same time. I know. And it's an appropriate because... time. She's smiling and he's smiling. She not. <laughs> I mean, this is... So, see, there was a good time. And we just... We, we need to get you all back to that. When you all... When yeah, you were like taking like... care of her and she was willing to punch I, you to keep you. Yeah. We need to go back and, and figure I feel out like, how to get I think the, the, another time was when I, I make my famous lasagna. My oh, kids, your my famous lasagna. And he always wants his own personal pan because he doesn't want to share with the rest of the house. Because they eat it up for me. No, I, look, <laughs> this one right here, he has his own plate, his own cup, and gets tight when somebody has it. So, and he wants his own little, you know, we always say, oh, that piece of chicken's daddy's. Or mm -hmm. that is that. So, I get that. I mean, it could I be worse. It could be that I don't want to eat your cooking at all. So, the I, fact, yeah. you know, it could I be worse. I appreciate that. But I understand having yeah. his own... Mm -hmm. I get that. All right, so where we are now is there's no trust in this relationship. This is a marriage on the line. You say he's been with other women. You think he's currently cheating on you with other women. You say she's just paranoid. Okay, Mr. Porter, what has happened in the past to make her think that you're stepping outside the marriage? I had one of my um, associates send me a picture of her um, body part. Okay, why are you smiling but, about it? Because yeah. it's funny. Why is that person sending you pictures of her body parts on your phone? No, no, no. Yeah. Why are you asking her to send you pictures of her body parts? Why? Yes. This was long before we even... Up... Okay, are you saying that the pictures that your bride found... Is old. They were old pictures? Yes. Here it is. You're a married man. I'm a married your, man. Your wife said when you all took vows, you became an us or a we. That means you can't have naked women on your phone. And That's why would you even want to? <laughs> your queen is the only naked woman you should be interested in. 
How I found out about the picture, we were in the room wrestling, playing. He took my phone. Both our cases had the same case. So when I went to reach behind him, I picked up his phone, hit that centerpiece, and what do I see? Her huna in front of the phone saying, please delete before Gigi finds out about the picture. That's what the text says in the phone. And I said, why would she send that to your phone? Why? Did you send pictures too? Because it shows like a two-sided conversation on this phone to me that what I seen when I hit the unbutton, when I opened the phone up and I seen all that on the phone. And so this was a recent text message with that? Yes. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any friends who would send me naked pictures and I don't have any friends I would ask to. You better not. <laughs> I mean, do you get this? Do you get that your wife has brought you here because your marriage is on the line? If she finds out that you're cheating... Your marriage could be over. Miss mm. Porter, if you find out he's cheating today, what does that mean for your relationship? He's out. O-U-T. <laughs> out. Mm. Okay, so I went and tried to bring the groceries in. I leave them two out in the car, not thinking nothing of it. I come back down, down this walkway. They jumping in the car. What y'all jumping for? So we all come in the house, I start cooking. He come out from out the basement and she's sitting by the back door. I seen the body language, how he brubs against her and she says, stop, D. Oh. What was that about? First oh, I all, just bumped into her. That was, a, he, that was just a yeah. mistake. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't, so, I'm not crazy. So, so this, is a, this is the same woman the who sent the woman. naked photos. Yep. Kids. And you are in the no, car no, with no, her? No, Did they, she gave us a ride home that, the day before she took the picture. Okay. Oh, okay. And you, when you come back out to the car, they're jumping around in the car like they were doing something. Yeah, that's what I... And that's what your eyes. gut tells you. That's my, and that's my gut and my eyeballs. They're never going to tell me wrong. Okay, when you say you thought they were doing something, what did your eyeballs see? Because like, that's what I, I'm I mean, like, why are they jumping? Like, is, is he... Did, did he show her private part? Are they reaching? Is she touching? How would I know? I would just... I'm outside the car. I'm, All right, okay. so, so Mr. Up. Porter, what were you doing in the car with this woman? We was up there talking about old times. With a female friend... Your wife just got a car. She's taking in the groceries. You're just sitting there with a the female friend in the car? She wasn't taking in no yes, groceries. Yes, I did. I took a bag. I took the last bag in the house. I said, let me uh, put this in here no. to check on the kids. Uh, yeah, because you, you didn't You can't take even nothing. carry over five pounds. Dear, so it's only, uh, it was only I had the bread and the, and the eggs in the front. The kids had took the meat and stuff in the house. So and those you came in... back to get that last bag and, and no, see her uh, lean over... Uh, I took the bag What in. did you see? What I exactly. see? Exactly. What okay, did you what see? Okay, what did I see? And you know... You seen what... her move quickly. And you... Okay, okay, wait, wait, it wasn't wait. no me. Wait. All right, so why did she move quickly? She wasn't doing nothing. Sexual nothing. Like. So... So you're she te- insecure. That's your all testimony that is. is... She insecure because I am 10 years younger than her. So when it ever come down to it, man... Never insecure, because I'm a, I'm a heavily beautiful, like said, almost 40-year-old woman. You're insecure. And I'm not insecure about nothing. Well, insecure about you cheating, because you are... Yeah. Okay. We have the instance of the naked pictures. Yeah. We have the instance of... Her right, giving you all a ride home. You believe they did something in the car. They come in the house. They bump against each other. They're interacting in a way that makes you uncomfortable. Right. Is that all that you have to support your belief that your husband is stepping outside the marriage? No. And so, what is it that makes you feel there's something wrong? Um, he has an app on his phone that when I go in there, it takes my picture. Okay, tell me about this camera app. <laughs> Did you bring an exhibit? Step to the monitor. All right. Every phone, like, it's certain phones that you can download apps on, like, privacy locks, security locks. Right. And I got the one that, as soon as you type in the wrong password, it'll um, alert you. Okay. And then as soon as you hit the alert button and type in the right button, the picture of the person that you that's trying to unlock the phone. Okay. Yes. If someone puts in the wrong code, it takes take a picture. picture of them. And then it also sends you an alert. Yes. And then they lock it. All right. And so we're looking at pictures of your wife. Yes. And these are pictures of her trying to get into your phone. Yes. All right. Okay. Thank you. You can come back to the podium, sir. Thank you. Judge, I have his password. He I gave me, you my listen, password. He sent oh. me. He sent me up. He goes, well, baby, go on my phone and do this. Now, this is before I even found out about the app. If you gave your all to me, then why is trust? Trust issues. I wouldn't have to put my um uh, my phone on no lock mode or none of that, no app. So you believe she's just prime? Yes. 
that's lack of trust. Because of your last relationship, you gonna bring... Nah, we don't do that. Now, no Ms. Porter, you brought a witness, is that correct? Yes, I brought my daughter. Okay. Would you step up to the podium, please? All right. Would you state your name, please? Danya Townsend. Okay. Ms. Townsend, uh, what do you know about the defendant? The defendant, I know that he's unfaithful to my mom. I think she could do way better than him. And the reason why you think your mother can do better is because we are around the same age or you just got lack of respect for a person? No, you're Which immature. One? You're just immature. Immature. But I'm All not right. the one that's staying with my mom. Does your... Uh, excuse me, res res Miss, respect uh, my, my daughter. For one, well, our kids feel that way because how can a, a child respect the man that treats their mama like nothing? You think you don't respect their mama, how you expect them to respect too if they don't you respect their mama? It just don't make no sense to me. So, yeah, my kids don't excuse like Excuse me. Hold on, Mr. Porter, hold on. Thank you, Ms. Townsend. You can have a seat. To get to the bottom of this, the court engaged the services of Kendall Shull of Kendall Investigations. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Shull into the courtroom? Yes, sir. It's good to see you, Mr. Shull. Good to see you, Your Honor. What did you do in your investigation? We decided to give Mr. Porter the opportunity to see how he would react when placed in a room with a female... <gasps> An attractive female and a hidden camera. All right. <laughs> and how did he respond? It only took Mr. Porter a few minutes to share some very personal information with this female he had just met. We have a tape. All right, let's yeah. see the tape. Well, take my number then or give me yours and I'll call you. You take mine. Okay. Okay, what is it? 612. Ooh. So, freaking liar. You... He meets this woman. They're only there for a few moments. She asks for his number, exchange numbers, and he's willing to give her his number. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Can you explain to the court why a woman you just met, you're giving her your phone number? Because she asked. So, it any did. woman walk up to you and just say, give me your number, you give it to them? She asked why I was here and what, I, what was, um, my number. Miss Porter, right. how do you feel about this? Yeah. Wow. Wow. What do you mean when you say wow? I think I know what you mean, but tell I me what you mean. I cannot believe that you would sit up here and give a woman your number and you got a full-figure wife right here. Why did you need to give another woman your phone number? Mr. Shaw, did you uncover anything else? He uh, assured the female that there would be no, absolutely no problem with her calling him. We have that tape as well. All right, let's yeah. see that, please. Well, is she going to go through that, though? I don't know. Put under another name, then. I don't know. It's my phone. Okay. Well, I'm going to issue. I don't know if you're going to issue. Told you. <clears throat> so, did you, did you use her name yeah. that she gave you? Yeah. Were you trying to have sex with this woman? No. Were you trying to have... I wasn't even trying to, to have no woman? conversation with her. She came to me. So, to further investigate this matter, we had a polygraph test done, and we have the results. <laughs> so, Mr. Shaw, Mr. Porter was asked, since being married, other than what you have admitted to to your wife, have you had sexual intercourse with any other women. What was his response? He said, no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined he was... What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined he was truthful. Yes! I didn't have to take no lie detector test to prove that I was doing something or wasn't doing nothing. It's lack of trust. Okay, yeah, but you Remember. keep putting yourself in these positions. You keep putting your feet in the fire. You keep playing with fire. It's dangerous. You know, you got other women sending you pictures. You know, you're talking to other women. You're giving them your phone numbers. How do you expect her to feel? You need to listen to her. You need to be attentive to her. You need to stop what you're doing. Change your ways. You can do this. If you want to keep her, you're going to need to do this. All right, Ms. Porter. Yes, ma'am. 
You have heard that your husband, this man that you love, has not cheated on you. You need to grasp that and move forward. I'm not saying that you don't have a reason and didn't have a reason in the past, but what I am saying is the past is done. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is coming. Today is right now. Mm -hmm. And you can't continue to hold on to what happened and move this marriage forward. The best part of today was when you all were both smiling. And, and you all can do that. He clearly loves you. I, I saw it when you all were smiling. Ms. Caruso, you all been dating two years and you're contemplating marriage, but allegations of cheating have put your relationship in turmoil. Yes, ma'am. All right, would you share with the court about your case? I know that my girlfriend is cheating and I'm just here to prove it. All I need right. to go once and for all if we're gonna move forward or move on. Okay, so you believe absolutely that she's cheating. I know in my she's heart that she's cheating. All right, Ms. Miller, what are you here for? Idiot. I'm here to prove my innocence. I'm not cheating on her, I never have. So I don't even know why all this is coming up. I guess because you're just so sure that I'm cheating on you. I don't know where you're getting any of that information from to begin with. I don't get it. She's acting like I'm crazy, like I don't have the you are proof. Nuts. You are, something is really wrong. So but I'm here to plead my case. So you say you know in your heart. What is your heart telling you? Nothing. Things have changed. We're not having sex. The affection's not there. That's We're not even fault. seeing each That's other as much. Fault. My phone is unlocked. There's nothing I hide. I'm not a deleter. I've never, I didn't grow up that way. I never had to hide stuff, so I'm not used to doing that. This one, there's a different code every day, oh. which I think even if I was able to get in the phone, it would still be deleted stuff. There's so much to hide, and it's like... It's not about hiding. It's just if you're with someone, you should just trust them, privacy. period. I get just privacy. period. She does Why not go through my going? phone that I know of. So but if she wanted to, she could, because... It, you can, too. You Ask can for the password. You can get in. Miss Miller. It's the Has this anger always been there? No. No. <laughs> no. no. Listen. Did you care about her at one point? I love her. I adore her. We've I had care a so lot much of about good her. times. I don't want to mistake that for this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me hear from this girl. See what's going on? This is what's going on. This is why. This so you, you can't get a word in edgewise. Not wise. one word. It's just a, a conversation turns into just her talking. So now I just have to walk off. Because you're just talking. You're asking me questions. You're answering them. Why are you even... Why are we even having a conversation? Why don't so you just talk to the mirror? She doesn't want to even talk. This is the most we've talked about our problems, oh. but I try to get through to her. No. And then no, when she wants to don't. talk to me, it'll be like you we're don't. out on a date trying to make things better and she wants to talk about Ms. Caruso. bad things. Ms. Caruso. She's gone. Yes. Wait. <laughs> I got a kind of believer. I can't get a word in edgeway. Right. 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 I think that's true. Yeah. 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 I mean, she is on a roll. Fair enough. I agree. At some point, you were happy. You liked her. It was something yes, about... I what did you like about her? I adore everything about her. I it really... Like? Everything, I just... I just love her. Everything, her personality. She's just so much fun, so much energy. She's just always ready to do different things. Like, she doesn't want to do the but same I'm not thing enough. all the time. I'm not enough for her. She it's needs other people. It's not about Shh. you being enough. It's about you just... And this is my thing. I said, if we weren't going to be together, it wouldn't even be because of another person. It's just you. Period. It's just you. All right, Ms. Caruso. When it was good, what did you like about her? I went to a hair show. Okay. And at first, I was like, oh, something new. But they cut it very, very short. And at first, you know, ooh, something new. But then I felt very ugly. I had no hair. Kayla always did her best to make me feel beautiful, make me, like, feel less insecure. And I'll never forget that. <laughs> and although she did not feel I needed a wig, she went to the store and we bought a really expensive, nice wig and I wore it until my hair grew. To... And you love her for that. Yes. And I see the tears in your mm -hmm. eyes as you recall it. Because I felt so ugly. And she made you feel beautiful again. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of person you fell in love with. Absolutely. But you're not seeing that right now. I am. I can still relive those moments, but based on what's happening now, it makes it very hard to stay in those moments. So, in your court papers, you say that you have a trunk of evidence to support your position. Yes, ma'am. A ma trunk. Okay, Don't so this brush... brush incident. I know this brush very well. You know why? Because I bought this brush for her. It's a okay? rainbow brush. It's a rainbow brush. She, very, she likes it. She loves paddle brushes. It is my favorite brush. So, I got home one day, and I had asked her to check the mail. She didn't. So, I go to check the mail. I see that her car's unlocked. So, of course, I'm very nosy. I'm going to take every opportunity I can get. 
So I go in the car. I see the hairbrush, which is hers, and I know it's hers. I bought it, and I know she loves this brush. I also know she's very weird with people using her stuff, sometimes even me. There's blonde hair in this brush, and it's in the passenger seat. Now I'm in her car a lot. It stays in the, um, in the side handle of her side. She doesn't have blonde hair. She doesn't sit in the passenger seat in her own car. So whose hair's in your brush? And I'm like, okay, is there some way it could have been, you know, one of these uh, people that get rides from her? But I know how she is. She would never just be like, yeah, brush your hair with my brush. That would never happen. So did you ask her about the brush? Yes. What did she say? Well, I do have a heart, for one. And when I was taking someone somewhere, the girl was a wreck. Her hair was a mess, she was crying, she was going to a job interview. I see you looking a mess and I can help you, I'm going to help you. If I could have pulled over and did her makeup, I would have did it. However, it wasn't that case. I let her use the brush, the brush is there. Why would you think that I would use my brush that some stranger had their hair in? It was right, I'm not gonna just throw it out the window, I'm gonna throw it in the trash when I get a second. She found it, like, literally, it did, she didn't even find it, because it wasn't lost. So it was you, sitting out in the open. You hadn't been to a trash can that whole day? No, not nothing to just be like, oh, let me pull over and throw so my brush away. When Ms. Caruso asked you about this, did you tell her what happened? Mm -hmm. Did she believe you? Nope. She you didn't believe nothing. You didn't believe her. The fact that it was still there. Did you believe her, Ms. Caruso? No. You believe that the hair in that brush is from somebody that she's been intimately involved with? Mm-hmm. And it could have even been someone that was in the car for a ride. I don't, I'm not saying that's not true, but the fact it was still there and not thrown out, that's why I know it was, it was someone's. Because okay. if you're having sex with someone, why wouldn't you share a brush with them? No big deal. But a stranger in your back seat, because you feel bad for them? Mm. Yeah, you don't believe that? No. Okay, what, what else is in your trunk of evidence, Ms. Caruso? Okay, I have um, this bikini, okay, with the black straps. Now, very easy to see with black was blonde hair all tangled in this. Now I'm like, oh, blonde hair again. Now, let me back up. The story Girl. was, oh, now I do believe God. that she did go to the water park. She went with her male friends, okay? Later on in the night, after the whole day's over, she came back from the water park. I came back home from work. I go in her car again. And this is in the trunk, but it's wrapped up in a towel, like a beach towel. So the towel I don't recognize, not hers. I, we live together, I know what towels we have. This is not mine, I know what I have. And this can't fit her. So I know that she didn't just buy it because she needed a new one, this won't fit her. So this is someone's. But she went with all dudes. None of the dudes dressed like women. So that's not an option either. And so you wanna know, well, whose bikini is this that's wrapped up in a towel in the trunk with blonde hair on it? Mm -hmm. That sounds like a fair question. Ms. Miller, answer the question. Well, that is my boy's daughter's bathing suit. And I told her, when we went to go switch the parks, we went from the water park to the dry park. We changed. She put her bathing suit in my car. It's not that big of a deal. And when you just ask a question, you get the answer. But when you're already assuming the answer, it's already wrapped up in your May head. May I interject? It doesn't matter. When this... you told me who you were going with, you left her out. Why? Okay, I don't know. I didn't even know she was going, to be honest. Is it possible, just in the realm of possibility, that she didn't know or she forgot? They had planned this trip. This was a planned trip. When I said who's all going, she told me everyone that was going. So you just left out the daughter when you guys had to pre-order tickets? No. All right. Well, maybe he bought her a ticket later okay. on. I don't know, because she so, wasn't going initially. But I don't know how she ended up with her. Well, the bottom line is you don't it. believe that the bikini you found belonged to this young lady. You believe that it belongs to someone she's involved with. If it happened to be the girls, why didn't you tell me? And this was right after you found the blonde hair yeah, in the brush. Yeah, blonde hair again. Coincidence so, or... Double strike with the blonde hair. I understand. I understand. This trunk is getting full of evidence. Yes. Yeah. And I'm oh, not my done. God. You're not done. It what else you got? evidence, okay. Your Honor. Now, again, you guys know she God. does ride share. Okay, lipstick. I do not believe that she would change her lipstick or even wear any to go drive, but change it twice. Again, her people sit in the back seat. These were found in the front seat. There what is also a, a cup holder in the back, though. So you see the coffee cups. What do you say to Ms. Miller? Oh, you changed your lipstick twice today? <laughs> no, I'm not even wearing any. And then oh, you... I know, but your cups are. So, so what both did up you front. say after she said, well, your cups are? Well, I did have that one color on, the nude color. Okay. However, 
I obviously had a passenger in the front seat. So who cares? This is what I'm saying. If I'm not hiding it, it's just right there. A regular normal person is gonna look at the situation and be like, oh, okay. So, Ms. Miller, you're saying that that other lipstick was a passenger. Yes. You had a carpool. But it is. Yes. Yes. Three pe- Hold on. It's three people in the car. That's a coincidence. I don't you know You made why. a pit stop during a ride to go get coffee Ms. with Caruso. someone. There, you didn't okay, throw it well, I should have threw it Ooh, the double whammy. <laughs> you ladies, we can't get what's well, going I'm... on if both of you are talking at the same time. I see what, I I see what the problem is. What is the problem, Mr. Cutler? They're just talking, 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 talking. Nobody's listening. You aren't listening to her. She isn't listening to you. I mean, she's I can't t- listen to either one of y'all. Yeah, she's tuning you out. You tuning her. I mean, it's a huge lack of communication. No, they're communicating. They just ain't listening. No, they're talking. Talk is not communicating. Yeah. You know, they can talk, talk, talk all they want to. They're not communicating. And that's the problem. So you believe all these pieces of evidence in your trunk of evidence, if you will, point to that Miss Miller is, in fact, cheating? Yes, ma'am. And if you find out she's cheating, what will happen? Then we're, we're done. And she knows that. All right. No, all right. it would never go that way anyway. If she's willing well, to throw out all our history, way. then she doesn't deserve me anyway. Miss Miller. Unbelievable. You love this woman. <laughs> yeah, and I want to make it work, but I, I can't... Mean, did, did I, I can't... see in the Did I see in the court papers that you tattooed uh, her name? Mm-hmm. Right here. On my birthday. Happy birthday. Yep. I got your you name You tattooed, tattooed this woman's name? You. Yep. Miss Caruso, clearly she cares about you. But ask her, will she get my name? Nope. She offered nope. initials. Initials? Nope. Oh, you won't get her name tattooed on you? Nothing is forever, so no. Oh. And the tattoo is... No, seriously. I, 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 I would disagree with you. Me and Mr. Cutler, we've been together almost 30... Six years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have his name tattooed? Right here on my heart. <laughs> right here on my heart. It was cute, but now yeah. I'm honestly like, whatever. If you got my name tattooed and then cheated on me, that makes you look But dumb, this so. is my thing. It's not even about the relationship why I got her name tattooed. I got it because of our friendship, our bond, period. So it's like, the point of the matter is, you might say a relationship's not forever, but what you mean to me is forever. So I don't understand why... You can't understand that concept, but to you, you, lo- you look at stupid little details instead of the big picture. So, Ms. Miller, is your testimony that you have not cheated? Correct. In this relationship? Correct. Well, I think we have enough. This court has done a full and complete investigation. Let's hear it. Mom. At this time, the court would like to call licensed polygraph examiner Kendall Scholl to determine, is she cheating? <laughs> well, please to the court. Kendall Scholl. How are you, Mr. Scholl? I'm great, Your Honor. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. We need your help. Yes. I'm here to help. All right. Would you share with the litigants your credentials so they'll know who has participated in this polygraph examination? I spent almost 30 years uh, with the FBI in Washington, D.C. When I retired there, I was actually chief of the entire FBI's polygraph program. All right. So, you asked Ms. Miller, did you have physical sexual contact with the woman whose yellow bikini was found in your car by Ms. Caruso. What was her response? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being truthful, Your Honor. Okay, what else? You're an idiot. Okay, okay. You're it an was idiot. the daughter's face, <laughs> too. Okay, you're an else? idiot. Hold on, Ms. Caruso, you're not convinced. <laughs> She'll never be convinced. I could take Kennedy. I won't She'll rest. never be convinced. That doesn't mean she never cheated on me. Okay, the girl with the bathing suit wasn't the person, but okay, there's still other options for it to be. Mm. Hmm. You asked Miss Miller, did you have physical sexual contact with the woman whose blonde hair was found in your rainbow hairbrush by Miss Caruso? What was Miss Miller's response? She said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being. Deceptive, Your Honor. Ah! Ah, so you like blondes, huh? <laughs> Ms. Miller. Hmm? You got something you need to tell us? <clears throat> well, um, so there is, um, a girl from a long time ago. But when me and Ashley go through things, I hang out with her more often. 
So, I mean, when you can't, it's kind of bad when you can't even stand being around your partner. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I kind of just go and hang out, and then, you know, some things just happen. Are you saying that th that's... Is that an excuse for... It's not an excuse, yeah. Your Honor. I'm grown. It's not an excuse. It's just my reasons. It's my reasons why I do what I do sometimes, and I'm not happy. I mean, I'm not happy. If I you're not happy, the... leave, not cheat. Okay. Well... All right, Ms. Caruso, you came here... <laughs> you came here to find out the truth. And I did. And you have. Where are you going from here? I don't want to date someone like that, so I'm fine with us separating. That's what I want. Because if I'm cheating, it's something wrong with me. I'm not happy. I'm going to keep pulling you along for what? I'm going to say, I cheated on you. It's because something's going on with us, and either I'm going to come clean about cheating, move on with you, or move away from you. Not just keep doing it. This is correct, but would we move on or would we, or would you still not keep trying? We've been going through this for months, so it's like... If you're um, cheating on me behind my back, you are not trying to me, trying with me in my face. When I'm trying you're with being you, deceitful. when I'm with you and I'm trying, you don't try. You've been dating three years, living together, but you, Ms. Viazone, have kicked Mr. Williams out recently because of allegations of cheating. Tell me all about what led to the kicking out. Yes, Your Honor. I'm here today because my boyfriend, Dante, is cheating on me with them skank <laughs> bottle girls at work. Oh. I know you... he's cheating and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being lied to. I'm tired of being cheated on. I'm, trying to... I'm just tired, period. I'm tired. And I'm here today for confirmation because I already know. This is more than a feeling for you. You are done. I'm done. I know. It's above me now. It's above me. If, today, if I get my confirmation, he can come get the rest of his stuff and get out. And stay out. And stay out. I got you. Period. Mr. Williams, I hope she's heard tired. That. She's done. She's crazy. <laughs> oh! Oh, no, I'm not crazy, Your Honor. I just point out the truth. And no. he denies it and he's a liar. She has no truth at all. You're she gonna has see no that today that he's a liar. Okay, I'm gonna need more than that she's crazy. I mean, she's made some serious accusations against you. She says she kicked you out of the house. I mean, it's just a lot of stuff that goes on. I mean, I'm a promoter. She knew she knew this when we first hooked up. She what are you promoting? Booty? Like, what, what are you doing? You're supposed to be promoting the club and parties, okay? Because <laughs> what you got going on, that's some extra stuff right there. Well, Mr. Williams, how does it make you feel to be kicked out of the house, to be accused of cheating? and been standing here having to defend yourself. It makes me feel upset. It makes me feel upset. It makes me feel like she doesn't trust me. I don't trust you. I think that's you don't clear give me that she doesn't trust. trust you. But, I mean, without trust, you don't have a relationship, you know? And that's where we're trying to get to. How do you trust a, a liar, Your Honor? How are you supposed to trust a liar? Hold on, Ms. Vizzo. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is she like this all the time? All the I'm time. sorry. <laughs> wow. Okay, <laughs> this, this a lot going on up in that household. <laughs> yeah. So, in order to have a relationship, you have to build trust. And that's what you're here to do. You want to rebuild that trust... Yes, Your Honor. ...by getting answers today to show her that you're not cheating. Exactly. Is that right? We about yes. to see. All right. Yeah, they, they, they she are... Got, she, got, she got some fire up under her. She does. Yeah. <laughs> How did you two meet? Oh, well, okay, well... Well, hold on. Let me, let me ask Mr. Williams. <laughs> okay. No, no. no. Oh, yeah. better. I'm, tell it better. Uh, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, it was one day we were at the club. Um, well, I was at the club. I was having a meeting with the, uh, with the owner of the club. Uh, the doorbell rung. As soon as the doorbell rung, I'm talking about it, it was like a white light just came through the door. And she stepped through the door, and I'm like, wow, you know? Really? She's kind of... <laughs> she's kind of, you know? I'm talking about it's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, you can see right... Yeah. Wait a minute, but what, <laughs> what struck me colors? Did you say he said... Wow! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I had to take it back, because I, I saw it, you know, all over again, you know? And she came in. I'm thinking that she was going to be a bottle girl, you know, a waitress or something like that. Hell she no. said, oh, no, I'm here to be a bouncer. A bouncer? Yes. <laughs> well, look, I mean, even from up here, she almost even with me. So how, how tall are I'm you? six feet tall, Your Honor. Okay, well, yeah, she could bounce. I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. Man. And that makes me even wonder why you messing her up. Cause I mean... If she can... I was there for a bouncer position because I'm a martial artist, so he know I'm a whip his when I find out <laughs> today. Well, we, we don't... We... Yeah, yeah. And I hope you mean that figuratively because we don't want to encourage... Oh, no, no, I meant it. No, I didn't mean it like that, okay. Your Honor. Okay. <laughs> so, Ms. Villazon, oh. why do you think he's cheating? We're supposed to go out to dinner and an hour goes by and I'm calling Dante and he's not picking up the phone. 
I'm calling him one, two, three, gets up to 20 times and he never answers his phone. So why she gotta call you 20 times and you late, man? My phone was dead. <laughs> mm -mm. There's no plugs where you're at? Huh? Ain't no, huh? Okay. What? So his phone's dead. All right, so you're trying to call him 20 times, no response. Yeah, what happens? Honest. Okay, so about an hour and a half later, wow. he comes strolling in the door. No kiss, no I'm sorry, babe. You know, nothing like that. He comes strolling in the door, walks straight past me, and heads straight to the bathroom. Okay. okay. So then I'm like, what's going on? So I go follow him and I go to the bathroom. As soon as I open up the door, what do I see? Him with his pants down, soaping up a rag, getting ready to wash off his private parts. <laughs> So oh. why are you washing off your private parts only and you're not taking a shower, you just want to wash this one area only? Why? Yeah. You know? I'm like, why? And why? you just and you just so, bust in the bathroom and saw this. Absolutely, we live together. He's my man. So I walk in, and, and when you... I see this, I immediately go down to sniff his private parts. Oh. And it smelled just what? like Zex. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm sorry. You, you immediately go and you sniff it. I sniffed. Well, you don't have a problem with it. Any time. TMI, Mr. Cole, is that too much information? <laughs> no, it's not too much, but we're gonna move on. Okay. okay so. <laughs> not only did I smell him, but I found a blonde hair. I'm not blonde. A blonde hair in his pubic hairs. Can okay. I please, can okay. I can I present Exhibit B? Okay. Oh, let me see what Exhibit what B exhibit is. Exhibit B for busted blonde. <laughs> what what is? Okay. Yo, yeah, you remember this? Nah, uh, no. Ron, 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 would you bring that? Ms. Okay. Beaton, what, yes. what is this that we're looking at? That's oh. the hair that I found that was wrapped up inside of his pubes. <laughs> now, does that look like my hair? No. Wow, that's baby. a oh, lot of hair. hair. No. <laughs> yeah. That's a, what was you oh, doing? Yeah, what did you have going on? How do you explain that? Being a promoter, we had photo shoots that we had to do that day. Man, photo shoot. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on, Ms. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please talk. Uh, go ahead. I'm so, sorry, Your Honor. So, you know, she already knew that we had a photo shoot. I don't know how long she thought it was gonna be, but I'm in the middle of the hallway. All the all the dressing rooms are already taken or whatever, so I had to go in the girls' dressing room. I put my bag in the girls' dressing room, and I mean, you know what happens in a, in a women's dressing room? I mean, you got wigs, you got hair. Okay, so this is why this doesn't even make no sense. Thank you. All right? You. So I'm gonna break it down for a brother. All right? In order for this alleged wig hair, this long hair, to get wrapped up in your private area, it would have had to slip between you and your underwear. Thank you. But it wasn't, it wasn't... It wasn't in my private area. She's kind of exaggerating a little no, bit. No, I'm not exaggerating, when, Your Honor. When she found it in my pants. But here's right. the thing. Yes. Even if that, even if you accept that crazy, and I don't, for those of you keeping score. Thank you. Why you run home and wash only that part of your body? Why you just walk straight that, past there and wash that? That's what she walked into. I had already washed the every, all the other parts of my body. That doesn't so even she make walked sense. into she walked into me cleaning sense. down there. I just tried to hurry up and do something, you know. I mean, when you got a crazy person that walk in on stop, you, of stop course you're going. Crazy. You no, see, I'm crazy. not crazy. Ms. Viazone. Yes. Hey, do you have any other reason? Have you found anything else that makes you think you're cheating? Absolutely. So there was a new bottle girl, bottle girl that started about six months ago at work. And he's been flirtatious with her, flirty with her. He says it's part of the job, but it's not. But those bottle girls, they're like that. In order to get more money, they like to flirt with the promoters so they can get the tables that they want and get more money. So I was at the club one day working at the front door and I look back and he's dancing with her, you know. Next thing I know, he goes and he disappears back by the kitchen area. Now, back there by the kitchen area is where he usually takes me to kiss up on me and, to, you know, while we at work to sneak. Well, I go back there and I follow him and her and when I walk in, he's leaned up against her like going in for a kiss. Mr. Williams. Who is this other woman that you were kissing up on at work in the spot that you kiss on Miss Via's own? It's no other woman at all, Your Honor. I mean, we have girls that take the money at the door. At the end of the night, we have to take that money back to the back. It's a liability thing for the club. So, you know, you don't want to take, you know, count money in the front, you know. Lies, he's smooth talking. That, but, See, he's smooth talking you. You know the bottle girl that I'm talking about. I mean, when we got to the back and, you know, we counted the money. Dante, are you serious? We counted the money and everything. You're after in court. We, after we did that, she gave me a hug, telling me Hold on, Ms. Viazone. 
Okay. Go ahead. She gave, she leaned in, gave me a hug, telling me bye, whatever like that. She walks in. Of course, we're gonna be startled. I thought there was I no have, girl. I have, shoot, look at her. She tall as I don't know what. She gonna hurt somebody. Okay, so you admit <laughs> that you were in close proximity with this young woman. Yes. It's like that always happens. Like, other stuff be going on, and then when she come in, it looked like something that it really wasn't. Well, there are two you know? explanations for this. One is she always just happens to walk in at the very moment it looks like something's always going on, or something's always going on. <laughs> it's just a coincidence. All right, have you ever seen him with this woman since then? I have, Your Honor, and I have my friend who works with me who has seen him with her as well and has told me that. All right, so Ms. Uh, Viazone, you have a witness. Could you please stand and come to the podium? Yes. Could you give your name for the record? Yes, I'm Mr. Fosselman. All right. How do you know the uh, the plaintiff? This is my best friend. We've been friends for about eight years. Best friend. <laughs> All right, so you know something about these bottle girls. Tell me what oh, you of know. Of course. You know, I moved down here, and uh, she told me, you know, that she was going to introduce me to uh, Mr. Dante over there, and uh, he was going to show me the ropes. And uh, I find myself just kind of just picking up his slack because he's always in the back with the girls. Oh. And okay. I'm trying to help you out, though. Have you actually seen him in the back room doing something with these women or just see him in the back room? I just see him go in the back room and just don't come back. But All you right. done been back in the back with her, though, too. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you didn't think I knew about that, huh? Yeah, okay. Mr. Foster, who are these girls he's back there with? Are you talking about patrons or these They're are... bottle girls, bottle, bottle girls. Bottle girls. Yeah, they all go through him. Mm -hmm. So do you think he's cheating? Absolutely. And you think he's cheating with these bottle girls? Yes, absolutely. All right, thank you very much for your testimony. You. Uh, have a seat, please. You know, we keep hearing a lot about these bottle girls. Right. And, and I think I have an understanding of what they do at clubs, but I want to get a better understanding. And so the court has invited some ladies here to shed some light on the club environment and what bottle girls do. Ron, would you please escort them in? Yes, Your Honor. Ladies. Explain to the court what a bottle girl does or what you do. So, bottle service is basically an exclusive concierge service at the club um, for VIP guests. Um, so, basically, if you want to come out and you're celebrating something like a birthday or a promotion, you just want to pop a bottle with some pretty ladies, um, that's what we provide for you. So, do bottle girls typically date promoters? Hell yes, Your oh. Honor. <laughs> Let me tell you. Boom. The better my relationship is with the promoter, the more money I make. Mm. Mm. All right. And the whole reason of this is so that you can make more money. Exactly. You gotta pay our bills, too. So you would not be surprised that, in fact, Mr. Williams is dating somebody because she's trying to make more money. I wouldn't be surprised, Your Honor. No. Well, ladies, thank you so much for your enlightenment and testimony. Ron, would you escort our guests Yes, out? John. Ladies. All right. <laughs> Well, this court has done a complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to call certified polygraph examiner Dave Lawrence to determine, is he cheating? Rob, is this court now? Dave Lawrence. Hey, how are you? How are you, Mr. Lawrence? You're fine, ma'am. How are you? I'm great. It's good to see you. For the court record, could you state your credentials? Yes, ma'am. I'm a retired law enforcement veteran of 30 years. I've been a polygraph examiner for the past 26 years. I've conducted thousands of polygraph tests as well as taught classes and helped train other police officers to be polygraph examiners. All right. You got the classic look of a man that's nervous. <laughs> you got a reason to be nervous? No, I just... I mean, I love this woman with all my heart. Pass or fail, I'm... Nothing's gonna stop that. Pass or fail? <laughs> That's okay. is that, is, is, do you have a reason to think you're going to fail? No, no, not at all. You sure? Positive. All right, go ahead, love. Mr. Lawrence, you asked Mr. Williams, was the blonde hair your girlfriend found on your body from a woman with whom you had physical sexual contact? What was his response to that question? He said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being. The lie detector determined that he was being deceptive. Oh! Oh! 
yeah, okay. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Man, I'm around women all no, the time. No, now we get... Uh-uh, uh-uh. You might as well tell the truth. She's already kicked you out the house. She get ready to kick you to the curb, so you might as well tell her. It's nobody else. All right, Mr. Cutler. Mr. Lawrence, you asked Mr. Williams, since the start of your relationship with Ms. Villazone, have you had sexual intercourse with any of your co-workers slash bottle girls? What was his response to that question? He said, no, Your Honor. Hmm. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined he was being deceptive. Whoa! So, oh, you sleeping with the bottle girls then, huh? You, you sleeping with the bottle girls, right? How much right, you want right? I do but need you to step back. Oh, here. but you weren't? I'm sorry. You weren't? Okay. Wait till we, wait till we get home. Wait till, wait, wait. Again, it's not like she doesn't know. She just wants the details so you all can figure out if you're going to move forward. No, they ain't moving forward. They ain't moving forward. No. Thank you. Okay. Here's a look. He's going to do what he's been doing. So I'm going to just talk to you. Yes, ma'am. All right. You can listen, but I'm done. Even though you're a strong woman and you're, you're definitive, you're hurt. I see the tears standing in your eyes and I, and I wouldn't expect anything less. But you know what? What you need to do is go make yourself whole and then go and, and meet that man who will appreciate you and all that you bring, all your facets. You understand? Yes, ma'am. 